Good morning, people, and welcome back to Dutch Modeling. Today, with another inbox review, it's gonna be the Thunder Models British Camel Pioneer SV2S recovery tractor in a 135th scale. Uh, to start off, I really want to thank Thunder Models for providing me with this review sample so I can show you what's in the box. First off, the inlaid box art known now by from the models, the drawings and everything. Model kit number is 35201. On the sides we got a little write up there. Uh, so if you want to read this, if it's readable, just pause for a second now. Then you got the uh, Scammon Pioneer book made by Capricorn Publications in uh, partnership with Thunder Models. On the side you got an, everything in Chinese. On the back, you got an overview. Apparently, it has over 450 plastic parts. And on the side side, again, the scale and the number. And on the back, you got some future. Uh, still re already released, but these are all future projects from the models is working on. So, it's the typical. Opening box, some goodies, plastic and everything. And take all the plastic and everything out, and as you can see, again, there's a lot of plastic in here. And one of the very big pluses, I think, these color callouts. So let's start with the color callouts. So I had those. We have it's all in uh, ammo by Mick Heminess colors. And they start out with the CIABG Heavy Brigade Workshop in Dunkirk, 1944, November. On the other side, we have a very colorful Hard Edge Tritone color, which is the 7th Armored Division of Africa in 1942. And then we got a recaptured and supplied land lease to the Soviet Army and the Soviet Armed Colors on the Eastern Front in 1944. And on this side we have a captured by the German army and repainted but left with original markings. The North Africa 1942. So, those are the color colors. Let's continue with the instructions. And this is a very good tip, they start within the first sentence on the instructions. There go. Read the instructions before you start building, basically. So that's always good. An explanation of all the symbols. And they start like the other camels with the engine parts. The uh, new and improved radiator. It's all being built up here. Block and everything's going together. Fan belt, fan, headers, all's going on. Intakes. Manifolds. Here's how it's colored, paints and everything. It's a little bit of photo edge. They start on the front axle here. This is a new part to this kit. Oh, that's cool. And this is a optional detail. Are they talking about the photo edge? I guess. Uh, everything's going on here. Front axle, this is the chassis bars. Front axle goes on the chassis. They say here not to glue because the, can, the front axle can uh, tilt. Some spr leaf springs with a towing eye. Take a strain of the chassis. Uh, this is the transmission it's being built up here. The first part of the uh, winch assembly. This is going on the back of the chassis. Engine is being placed together with the radiator. Here as you can see. Then the uh, transmission is being placed behind the engine. Some connection wires are attached here. Some more work on the chassis, just some girders, 
first part of the winch is going on here and another tying on hook towing hook with some uh, leaf spring relief is going in there then you're going to start working on the winch so all the brakes and releases and everything it's more for the winch here operating system Uh, these are the starting the parts of the rear axle. Uh, this looks like an air canister, but I actually don't know what this is. Just a brace. More small parts here. Winch being placed, the brakes with the spring is being attached, more parts for the winch here, the towering you got built earlier is being placed there, drive shaft, all kinds of small parts all have been attached, the rear axles. Gonna be the wheels, one side part of the transmission again. I always forget the English name for this one. I think that's yeah, the di di differential. Yeah, I think it's the, diff the differential. Uh, rear axles being placed again, do not glue because they're also movable, and this is. If you're really into detailing it, you can obviously look here the air, how the air hoses should go and everything. And it says indeed the wiring is not included, so you have to make it himself. But this is the original diagram. So if you really want to super detail it, you have everything you need right here in the instructions. So I think that's a cool touch. Uh, step 18, you start working on the cab. Cab floor, seats, rear wall, couple of bug storage areas here and everything. Uh, the gear shifter, uh, levers, winch brake, gas pedal, brake pedal, uh, the, the works on the inside, glasses. It's here, windows, fortifying beams, sides, where the doors come in, the uh, dashboard, instrument panel, the, these are to scale for the templates, for the windows, so this is a cool thing, it works, I tried it. Next up they place the cap on the chassis and then the, uh, you can see here, this is the lever for the winch to release, no this is the winch brake, it's been placed throughout the cap and the uh, steering column as well is being placed straight into the cap so you will place it later. Then B31, it's the air cleaning rod. I would place this directly when you build the engine. Because this is a very thin and uh, curved piece of uh, sprue. And that will break several times in the meantime when you do not place this. So this should be in step one or two, at least at the front. But well, it's just me. Filter case, manifold, uh, hood or bonnet, exhaust being built up, windows go in, steering wheel goes in, uh, flat, they work on a flatbed here. Let me see, M, N, M, 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 M
M10, where's M10? I don't see the M10. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, these are all spaces you can either open or close. So there's a whole lot of storage area inside as well. So more work on the flatbed. The winch will be on very soon. And here's a close up of the sides, how it's supposed to be. Uh, so for all the PEF and PEG, so those one, you need to draw a hole of 0.35 mil for easy assembling. So it's cool that they give the drill size as well. Work on the crane arm. Installment on the flatbed or on the back. I just keep calling it a flatbed. Uh, winch system, pulley system here. Small part here. Bending photo edge. You can see how high and how wide it should be. So nice little touch. Winch being put on. Cable thread through. And there's a whole lot of photo edge stuff being done here. All the small parts, the handles. Flatbed being placed on the uh, chassis. Roof is going on. A-frame. This looks very much like an A-frame for towing. It's cool. Counterweight on the front is being placed. One second, please. Sorry for that. Uh, yeah, counterweights, the fenders, and the wheel hubs, and here the wheels. They are, as you can see, multi parts. It should go in only one way so that the thread is correct. Furthermore, here the fuel tank being placed, headlights, and well, blinkers. This is the counterweight itself. Wing mirrors go on. There are some weapons in the back here, it's cool. And then you can choose either you do the sides of the engine bay or not. Uh, if you did a half a decent job on the engine, I wouldn't, because otherwise the entire first three steps will be invisible and it will be a shame. Then you got the uh, rear wheels, in which you can choose two patterns by just turning around the inner part left or right, so you get the India pattern or an optional pattern what you want is up to you and place them here some mud guards on the rear and then you got the stowage basket that goes under the driver's seat position, not seat, but under the driver's position this photo edge as you can see it's placed there and then you got a sprue map which is completely numbered. And those are the instructions. Let's start with the spruce. So we've got first, this one is a double, as you can see. I take out one. Give me a picture firstly. Uh, wheels, part for the rear axle. Yeah, this is mostly rear axle parts and some small or parts that can be used anywhere. This is wheel, wheel, axle. That's, that's the main part. Just riding on the wheels, and they are firestones on the tubes, tires. That's cool. Give you a little close up here. On the molding and riveting, and bolting. You can see yourself. Great sta high standards. Turn around. 
you been riding for the tight on the wheels yourself, is she there? Uh, what is the other one? Where is he? Oh, there it is. There it is. Fire star, as you can see. And then with the wheel nuts and everything nicely molded there. And like I said, you got two, so I'm only going to show you one. Because the other one is exactly the same. Next sprue. The cab floor, the cab sides, the doors, which you do or do not, right? the diff covers, leaf spring suspension for the rear, wood grain here is pretty nice, good, pretty good. Show you in a second. Uh, and again, all small parts can be used on different locations. So. The riveting looks good again. Nice small detail. The leaf springs, the springs are nicely defined. Both sides, yeah, bolts. The beams on the doors are pretty well detailed. If you look close up, you can see there the the riveting or bolting there on the door side on the panels. These are the side panels. This is the flooring with the wood grain texture. As you can see, and the uh, the bumpers for the engine. There are the doors again with the you got all kinds of small stuff. And here are the leaf springs. I don't know how well the camera picks it up because of the lighting. It's better. You see all kinds of tiny stuff again. Nicely molded, and as far as I can see, no flash. Oh, that's a good thing. Next up, a small sprue. Engine. Uh, engine, engine. Steering wheel column. Levers. Yeah, this is all small. I mean, the engine parts, cabin parts, this is parts for the uh, winch. Oh, a lot of small parts. This is the front axle beam. Maybe small, still pretty nicely detailed. You can see there the teeth. Pocket wheel sprockets. Oh, thing like that. It translate roughly translated in Dutch. It means a teeth wheel, because it has yeah, well, kind of teeth. So that's why I call it teeth. Probably, uh, I wouldn't know if they are called differently. It's a sprocket wheel, like it on a, on a tank, a German tank on the rear. It's a sprocket wheel. Well, we would call it a teeth wheel. I don't know if they say different word for it in English. Yes, the Dutch are kind of a bit crazy. Here we got the roof. The sides for the, or the back and the front for the flatbed. The arms for the crane, parts, tools, weapons. This is the uh, 
brake for the winch, sides on the flatbed. Oh no, this more looks like a one of the openers, uh, the stowage areas on the, on the flatbed. And all kinds of stuff I haven't seen before. This is one. This is a new sprue for me. Detail is high again. The uh, wood grain is on both sides. Looks great again. Rivety detail on the roof is good. The guns look pretty good. Both sides. That's not bad. Yep. Uh, show you the wood, show off the wood grain on the rear panel together with the bolting there, the riveting. Here more. It will take up paint and a wash pretty nice. All the small parts, larger parts. It looks like an oil canister there. The sides. More parts, more sprocket wheels, gears, air tanks, tools there, the weapons. This will close up with those. And then there's the roof with the riveting again. So, yeah, looks good. Next sprue. The radiator, the bonnet, more doors, engine parts, front axle parts, front axle, the uh, fenders, parts for the Winch, this is part of the radiator, and all small parts here. This top of the radiator, it's exhaust pot. The radiator. Nicely detailed again, the new one. The engine block, the sides. One half of the second half of the front axle, two parts of the winch, cover plate for the radiator, the doors, the bonnet, the part sticking out for the air cleaner, air filter, the arms for the front axle, small stuff there. And the fenders. Well, again, nice and cleanly molded. A little bit of flesh here on the mo on the, but it's gone already. Next up, the firewall, the fuel tank, the sides of the engine bay. All engine parts, leaf springs for front and rear, the wheels for the winch, manifolds, bottom of the engine with the top for the uh, where the oil sits, the carter, I think it, it's carter upon it in Dutch, so I don't know what's in English. Yeah, again, looks good. There's some detailing on the inside of the firewall as well. Uh, this is the part of the winch. Oh, small teeth there. Two springs for the front and rear of the chassis. Two part fuel tank. Engine, 
cover up small parts firewall there and as you can see here on the inside there's also some detail firewall or the front of the cap whatever you want to call it Next screw. We got more engine parts, engine parts, air cleaner, part of the diff, the front axle, engine parts, this is the cap, it's all kinds of snow, miscellaneous stuff. Here, oh, again, nicely molded steering wheel. A exhaust pipe here. Oh, small stuff there. One second. Sorry for that. Let me see, these are mainly parts for the flatbed. The flooring, sides, plot, the chassis girders here. This is the rear of the uh, cab. The A frame. It's cool that they included that. And mainly all all very very nice looking wooden parts yeah I can show you this can you see all kinds of nice well detailed parts for flat that they are pretty big parts so I'm going through this through pretty quickly. Side of the cap wall. Oh, you can see this side is the upper side. This is the lower side of it. Big part. Of it. There's also what texture? So, and this is the inside of the cap. So it's also nicely detailed. So they actually did the underside of the uh, flatbed, which you never see. Also the wood texture. That's a great detail. Oh, second sprue, uh, last sprue, not second, last. This is a double sprue again with the wheels, mainly the wheels. Some cab parts as well. Take one out, leave one in. As you can see, wheels, front wheels, these are good years. These are, and those don't have a name on them. Motor parts, 
shown before in the instructions. These are the seats. And these are the seats. Uh, that's where the seats go on. These are the legs, so to speak. This is. Uh, oh, this is for the uh, fender. Go on top. So. Yep, I don't think you use these anymore. Don't know why though, you have them, so. Well, can I give you a close up? Again, very crisp molding. Pretty much all the same, so I'm just gonna skip to a couple. You can see. Um, and they're pretty easy to send back. Uh, these. But I don't think you use these anymore. And then you got some small parts there. These are the seats. That's where the wheels go attached in front. This is one of the knobs that uh, fixes the rear axle in place. And that's it basically. Yeah, that's the sprue. And then we have the clear parts. It's really a tree. Resealable back, so that's a nice touch. Makes me think of a drag car race. Clear parts, pretty clear. I got, let's see. I can just read through them as you can see, so. And this is the main window. Oh, that's good. Got not too far, too much, but you need them anyway. These back in. And then the fan favorite photo edge tackles. Piece of wiring, and a piece of metal. This is the cable, the cables, piece of string, two pieces of string. Oh. Some uses, some place it, that's all up to you. Personally, I replace them with uh, wire. Uh, a piece of metal. Can't remember what's it for. Mostly. One small sprue. Or thread. This is uh, mainly the toolbox that goes underneath the driver's position. And all other parts. All kinds of larger parts in this one. See, and it's pretty. Oh, not here. It's it's protected on both sides with a film. Some like that, some really don't. This is are the. It's a small decal sheet for the. Uh, Dash. Really not very. That's basically all. And then you got this one with all the markings, with a extra protection, but it was on the bottom. I don't know who makes these. It doesn't say. But the quality is pretty big, pretty good. It's all in Russia, all great colors. It, it really looks good. I have no clue how ma who makes these. If I would have get, I should have guessed. I would say they are Cartograph. But Cartograph normally it puts it on the bottom that they made them, and these are unmarked. So might they might make them themselves? I don't know. I have to. 
it's well zoom in so you can see. Be some quality high quality photo uh, decals. It makes me think you can see even to the smallest. Around all there. These are high quality for decals. And I've built the transport tank transporter and they really go down very nicely as well. So that's also a good thing. And I think that's it. So pick up the box, put down the box, close the box. Put up your foot. This was my review of the Funda Models British Camel Pioneer, the SV-2S recovery tractor. Uh, <coughs> I've built one Funda Models Camel, I'm building and working on the second one. They go together like a dream. So I have no question in my mind that this goes together as a dream as well. Um, it's the third one in a row of three. So nicely to complete, you can buy uh, and I believe I do have the IVG one as well. I will do a comparison video with this one again. I did that with the uh, artillery transporter as well. And I will upload it once that's done. So far for the final models kit, I showed you what's in the box. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's a definitely a, a recommended for me. So if you like it, pick it up. I got the IBG review uh, on my channel as well. It should be a couple of months back because that's uh, I guess a year ago almost now. If you don't want to compare them yourself, but this has my pick for sure. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, visit my Patreon if you want and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.